Welcome to another Spread Cheetahs video guide. You can find written instructions for these steps on the Spread Cheetahs website. In this video, we'll see how to calculate outliers in Excel. An important step in explanatory data analysis, or EDA, is the identification of outliers. Outliers are values in data that are extreme and far removed from the other values in the data set. It is very important when you are data, doing data analysis to identify the outliers and in some cases remove them or decide how to handle them. Outliers can skew the result of your data analysis, so it is important that they are identified. If the data set is small, you can look at the values and try and figure out the outliers. But if you have a very large data set, one way of identifying outliers is to use the IQR or the interquartile range. In Excel, uh, we can identify the outliers using the IQR approach. So let's see how to do this. The first step is to identify the first quartile. We need to identify the first and third quartiles in order to get the IQR. Then once we compute the IQR, uh, we defined an upper bound, which is the third quartile plus 1.5 times the IQR, and the lower bound, which is the first quartile, minus 1.5 times the IQR. Once the upper bound and lower bounds have been defined, we can then calculate those values that fall outside, either above the upper bound or below the lower bound, as outliers. So let's get started. For the quartiles, we will use the quartile function of Excel, which takes a range, in this case this data, and I specify a number because I want the number one because I want the first quartile. Similarly, for the third quartile, again, I use the quartile function, select the arrow, array, and then say three because this is the third quartile. Now, the interquartile range is the third quartile minus the first quartile. So now I have the IQR. Using this, I will define the upper bound, which is the third quartile plus 1.5 into the interquartile range. This is the upper bound and the lower bound is the first quartile minus 1.5 into the IQR and press enter. So now that I have the upper and lower bounds, I can check each value against these bounds and see whether they, it's an outlier or not. To do that, again, I will use the if function in Excel. So the if function applies a logical test and displays one value if true and another value if false. So here the logical test is going to be, I want to see if this value, which is uh, uh, the first data value, is outside the upper bound or, or outside the lower bound. So for that, since I'm checking two conditions, I will use the or function. So here the first test is whether this value is lesser than the lower bound. That's one uh, uh, condition. And the second condition is whether this value is above or greater than the upper bound. So this is my complete logical test. If this is true, I want a true to be displayed. If not, I want false to be displayed and say enter. So in this case, Looking at it, we know that 16 falls between these values, so it is not an outlier. I can then drag this formula down. Before that, I need to make the upper and lower bound constant since I'm copying the uh, formula. So I have select the value and press F4, and similarly for this, and F4. Now I can just drag this down to the rest of the column. And from here, we can see that there are certain outliers. Uh, there is a minus 250, which is an outlier and this 545, 600, and minus 150. So we have successfully calculated the outliers in Excel. Please read the appended article for further guidance.